everybody, this is Mobius. Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Updates. So, uh, today we're checking out the Lost River base again. They've added quite a few things. So they've added some of the glowing mushrooms, or glow shrooms, I think they're called. I can't remember. Um, it does look like a lot more is actually destroyed, or at least it's more noticeable, because like, I don't remember this part. But there's vines now, and moss, uh, that was definitely there. I don't remember that right there being there. However, it could be because of the lighting. Um, the fact that it's now, like, easier to see. Uh, so there's a bunch of these mushrooms around here. This is here. There's nothing new in here, sadly, besides the lighting. There is now an ion crystal over here, though. And then if we come down here, there's some more damage that was there. I don't know about that. Um, some more vines and moss and mushrooms. And then this tank is back here. And as you can see, like there's no visual lights, but you can see they added lighting for the tank here. They also added some uh, dirt or ground, whatever you want to call it. So my guess is that the glass will be here. Um, most likely the broken glass, um, but I'm not sure. So it, it makes sense now why this glass here is green, because if they're going with like the moss theme and everything, it's probably dyed glass. You know, like it's really dirty, it's old, it's been dyed from, um, you know, nature and stuff. Also, uh, this glass is now back. And in here, this glass is back, and this is partially textured now, uh, which looks pretty cool. Also in here, no glass, and this is now textured with a ghost ray in here. Hi. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is partially textured. These are now moved again, and we now have our tables here. Also, this was not here five minutes ago. So I don't know what's up with that. But um, these are the dissection tables, I believe, or the operating um, tables where they like made the warpers, I'm assuming. Or they um, were like, you know, researching stuff. I do think these should be like more off to the side. I, I don't really like that they're in the middle because it blocks your like view. I don't know, I think it just kind of ruins it. But the texture is looking pretty cool. I think there's still some things they need to work on with lighting here. Um, but, you know, it's in stage one. It's not like the stuff over there. And then I am almost positive there's nothing new in here. Yeah, no, I don't see anything. All right, so we have two more things to check out in the thermal plant, so I will see you guys there. All right, guys, we are here at the thermal plant. Um, the droids got new animations. They don't walk the same anymore. I'm not sure how I like it. It doesn't really make them look like a robot. It more makes them look organic. Um, oh, see? It, it looks kind of funky, but I don't know. It looks okay. And then... Uh, the drillable ion crystals here have changed. They are now five of these big uh, ion crystals, essentially. It's no longer like 15 or whatever. And once you drill them, um, you, you only get five. You don't get uh, 14, 15, 16, whatever it is. Um, I think each person was getting different results from it, uh, from what I have seen through YouTube. So, uh, that's it for the thermal plant. Everything else is on Trello. So, I will see you guys there. Alright, guys. So, we are back on Trello. Um, one thing I do want to show you guys is up here is live check-ins. They basically check in to see what they update. Um... And I check this so that way I can keep up to date with everything and if I may have missed something. So 
as I can see, I did miss something. Um, right here it says add a glow ramps to thermal room in lava base and fix terminal backing. So basically, like when you walk up the ramps, they start to glow, kind of like in the gun. And then it says remove back off of terminal in thermal room. And then glow on ramps placed in world. Uh, and it just tells like a bunch of stuff. Most of it is like bug fixings or lighting. Um, like they're fixing floaters currently and then for like rocket uh, cinematics there's a bunch of them updated animation timing etc um, like right here precursor prison interior hallway precursor prison exterior with light map so they're working on that um, that's pretty much most of it right here Lost River uh, Michael's work merge room update so that was like the last uh, video we did so I just want to check quick and tell you guys that there is the glow ramps in thermal room and of the terminal in the thermal room uh, has been removed so if we go over to Trello there's some awesome stuff um, the first one I want to talk about is right here player progression should drive player infected amount and it says right here um, player infected amount value should change during the game based on story progression we should explicitly define values for several stages so I will be able to trigger the right PDA log entries based on this value. Stage 1 is default performing self scan, vital signs normal, detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria, continuing, continuing to monitor. Stage 2 is before you go to the gun, performing self scan, foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Stage 3 is after you've gone to the gun, performing self-scan. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data to identify bacterial strain. Stage 4 is post loss river base. Performing self-scan, bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Now, uh, if you didn't see it, they did post a while ago um, a like gray box animation of you realizing you were infected. So that will happen, and then you should then like perform a self scan, and you will uh, notice this. And then stage five is cured. Performing self-scan, vital signs normal, no remaining signs of bacterial infection. This is an interesting note too, the aggressiveness of warpers depend on the infected amount and we might hook up more logic to it, so I would like it to progress as smoothly as possible. So that's pretty cool to see, a really cool mechanic that um, seems like they're going to add. Self-scanning actually is soon to be in the game I'm not sure when but you can see it here so basically you're gonna hook up some way or be able to do it in some way I'm not sure yet you can scan yourself and that's why uh, for the infection so and then um, there's just a bunch of like bug fixes and whatnot here and if we continue to go down um, keep going keep going right here they released this concept art of the anti-chamber or anti-chamber whatever you guys want to say anyway this is really awesome and in the description here he talks about what to do with these green tanks all right so we're gonna read this quick so in the concept and model there are all those glowing green containers I'm trying to think of what we can put in them. This is a research facility so we could potentially put something like creature eggs in them. But for some reason in this room they seem more like display cases. I guess since the room is kind of like a giant lobby and not a lot of other equipment around. So I was thinking another possibility could be putting little simple models of artifacts in the cases. Like things collected from around the universe, maybe from other alien species. Stuff that looks just weird and abstract. Perhaps along with some human artifacts to show the idea. Stuff that is very simple and quick to model. But it could be fun to also be able to scan them for just a bit of info. Like really could just be a sentence for some of them, keeping some of them mysterious. 
we wouldn't have to fill every single container, but maybe like half of them. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, he said this was a lobby. And if you look here, you can like see that we'll be able to walk up there. At least that's my assumption. It looks like it. It, it looks like um, it's a balcony. And then, you know, there's a side room here. And my guess would be there's a side room here as well. And then this is like the main room we would have to enter. Because clearly we're coming from here. These do kind of look like data hubs, but I don't really see any iron crystals. My real question is, what is this? Is that like, it, it almost looks like the energy core from the gun, kind of. But I don't know if it would be that, or if it may be like a huge data hub where all the precursors are like uploaded. Or where they do upload or something like that I'm not sure uh, it looks pretty awesome though and like I haven't seen this one supposedly it was leaked before um, and now it's like revealed because it's on Trello but uh, it looks pretty awesome so that's gonna be it for the video guys I hope you enjoyed please don't forget to hit that like button and if you aren't a current subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe so that way you can keep up to date with all of the news and content coming out with Subnautica. These next few months are going to be crazy with the prison and everything getting complete. So definitely not something you want to miss. And as always guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Um, it says this device does not match any known human technology. Although its design is relatively simple, its only observed behavior has been attacking local life forms in a radius around the ancient structures. Uh, features few moving parts, carries a rechargeable ion based power reserve.